the discognition kicked us off uh, with some advice, but this is going to be tips for listeners. Uh, hopefully these guys are going to enlighten us with some tips that maybe we haven't heard before. And uh, since discognitions already started us off, I want to go to Dominic and then go back. Oh, me first. Yes, is please. this for, is this for 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 DJs like new DJs or or for listeners? For any DJs, so it could be tips for new DJs, uh, you know, season yeah. bets, anything. No, yeah, you know, I I said it before. I'll I'll say it again, man. You don't end up, and all you guys know this now, but you don't end up being able to play for two, five, ten, fifteen years, twenty years without really being a, a decent, thoughtful, nice human being. You know, like I said, the music and the talent is, ta- is table stakes, but I really do think that we need to make an effort to, um, especially if you're a young DJ, you know, I know you guys talked about this in, an, in another, uh, another one of the episodes, but just about going above and beyond when you're working with clubs and staff and all that kind of, you know, all that kind of stuff, helping out at the end of the night, like that kind of thing, when you're given an opportunity, that stuff goes a long way. But to me, if I could offer any one advice, it's like really, really focus on, 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 on the introductions and then nurturing and cultivating those, those relationships, um, with, with people. I think it's paramount. It's a number one thing. Like you'll learn the music, you'll get better, but be a good person. I like that. It's like it, you would, a lot of the tips we get, Mike, are always about something technical, you know, prepare down, like, you know, make your own edits, that type of stuff. And like, it's so true that if you have a bad reputation or you're just not a professional, like this is your career or part-time career or whatever, like you have to take it serious. You have to introduce yourself. You have to be just a genuine person. I love that. Yeah, James, how long have we known each other, man? It's a good example. Like when you're in, and, and those relationships go a long way. Like we might see each other before, you know, before I moved down here, I still haven't seen you, but you know, be- be- beforehand, you'd be in Cleveland four times a year. And I'd be like, I got to go see James, you know, he's, yeah. he's here. We would right? gra- but, Even if you couldn't, we like, we would try to grab dinner or something. Grab food or whatever. Like, you know, and, and, and that, and, and the fir- first show we played together was at, you know, Liquid in 2012 or something, you know, it's just, I don't know, man. That maybe was Paul this year, Oakenfold too, wasn't it? Or, oh, yeah, Oaken. That's, <laughs> you're, you're right. You know, maybe this year it's becoming just more and more apparent, not just in your professional life, but in your personal life too. I think it's more important than ever to nurture those relationships, check on people, and do good. You know, love it, sure. Chad. Just cognition back to you. Yeah, um, I think my number one piece of advice, other than be a good person, that's good general life advice, but especially for (laughs) DJs. Um, In the words of the hardest working man in Athens, Ohio, DJ A-Rock, invest in yourself. Mm -hmm. Um, If you're a DJ and you want to take this seriously at all, you have to invest in yourself. Um, That's mentally, that's financially, um, you know, I don't know how many people know this, but I, I took two years off of DJ. I only started DJing again <laughs> horribly in March. Um, you know, as soon as COVID hit, you know, I, I got back into it. But I've been producing through the whole thing, but I stopped DJing. Um, I just wasn't mentally, um, I, I don't want to say capable, but I, I wasn't in a good it was place, you know, I had moved to LA um, and I was just trying to do all that stuff, but you, you have to be able to invest in yourself mentally, get yourself in the right mindset. Um, and I would say, think of DJing as, as your full-time job. You know, if you're going out and getting drunk and partying every night um, and you're not really taking it seriously, then you're, you're never going to be taken seriously. Um, so Invest in yourself, invest in your image, um, and financially, um, you do have to invest. It's an expensive, quote-unquote, hobby, um, but um, a quick little story. I had a friend ask me, you know, what I use for my live stream setup. Um, I went out and bought an XDJ RX uh, for a controller. Um, I bought a tripod, a green screen. Um, I bought all that stuff. 
and he was like, what do you use for your camera? And I was like, dude, I use my iPhone and I bought the OVS app, it's 15 bucks. He's like, oh, I'm not really trying to spend $15 on an app. <laughs> and I was like, I was like, yo, I mean, <laughs> what, what do you want me to say to you? You know, it's $15 and we have this, this notion as, as human beings, you know, you'll go spend $5 on a Big Mac, but you won't spend $2 on an app, you know? But I'm like, dude, this app, you literally, it's 15 bucks. You plug it in, it's ready to go. You don't have to worry about it. So invest in yourself and, you know, you, you get what you pay for, you know? I mean, what camera were you going to tell him that's under $15, I guess is my question. Like, obviously, well, if you can't afford it, $15, nothing, no problem with that. But if you're right. asking, hey, what camera are you using? Obviously, you know, I think you're trying to say, like, what camera should I use? And I don't know where you're going to find a camera for $15 that's going to work better than your <laughs> phone. Yeah, it's just, it's just, um, you know, if you're not willing to spend money on something you want to be really good at, then you're not really willing to be really good at it. You know, that, and that's how I feel. But in, in the same breath, I, I want to make sure that this is, this is conveyed correctly. You don't need the most expensive gear to be good at what you're doing. Sure. Um, I, I don't want to say like, oh, you, you're only going to be good if you're spending. Like, I've never owned a pair of CDJs, never in my life. Um, I buy controllers and, you know, I spent $800 on my XDJ RX and that was even out of my budget, but you know, it, you don't have to spend money on the most expensive gear, but get what you can afford, you know, and then start there and keep building and investing in yourself. Because if you keep investing in yourself, other people will invest in you, um, and really buy into what you're doing. So invest in yourself, people. That's what I say. What'd you think corrupt? No, that's great, man. That's two like side angles. Great advice. Um, just not, you know, different than our general, general. Where can people find you both, uh, both online and in person? Start with this cognition. Um, online, uh, you can find me on the Anjuna Family LA Twitch channel. Um, I'm getting back on my own Twitch uh, for a monthly show called Friend Zone, where I'm only playing music from. Uh, my producer friends. Um, no big names, none of that, just the local guys, Columbus and LA. Um, Facebook, Instagram. I don't use Twitter. Twitter's a wasteland of stuff that makes me depressed. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't, I don't use Twitter, but, um, and I'm trying to build my YouTube channel back up. So uh, by doing a, a video blog and things like that, and Mike, I have questions to ask you about video blogging because i know that you're uh, doing all that but um and spotify for sure hit your boy up discognition awesome dominic uh at dominic parisi no spaces no nothing all one word on on everything uh best places uh, uh instagram generally facebook too i'm on twitch uh i have a youtube channel mixcloud soundcloud uh for mixes uh, I, I am on Twitter, but that's generally if you're interested in my view on politics or general state of our union. Uh, if you don't want to, to to hear me rant and rave like a crazy person, then I'd avoid my Twitter account. Oh, that's what man, Twitter's that's what for, though. Twitter's that's for. Twitter's yeah. for. <laughs> yeah. Follow you immediately. If you're, yeah, interested, I mean, if you're interested in music and fun, Instagram. If you want to doom scroll for a while, then 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 Twitter's the Twitter's move. But the Twitter uh, fuckery. Yeah. And, and I am, and I do want to shout out, uh, go to my Instagram if you uh, are interested in seeing Major Laser next week. I'm really excited about this show. It's the first big show that I'm, that I'm back since Corn. Big show, not like club show, like big show. It's a drive-in. Um, ticket link is in my bio. Uh, use code BEACHBOYS for 10% off. Wait, I'm ser I'm, is that in Columbus? It is. Yeah. yeah. See, we don't have, nothing is open in California, so where in Columbus is it? I, I want to go. It's at the uh, Westland Drive-In, the mall. What day? Uh, the Thursday. Thursday, the 29th. There's Today's a rumor. That's the day I'm supposed to leave. I might have to stay an extra day.